Might as well just cut it. Because she wants... Because we want it to grow back within, you know, the wedding, which is in September. So I was like, if I cut it now, I'll have a fro by then. I just gotta just tape it and whatever. And I should be fine. But yeah, bro. crazy, bro. You, know, all, you see all the dookie dreads in there, bro? <laughs> I told Jay, I was like, bro, you, your boy might need some some garden tools. For my day, bro. Cut it off, man. Yeah, I want to go to like, see if we could get to like a five. A five? Yeah, and get a mid fade. And then get it. Oh, so you still want that the little sponge look, basically? Yeah, a little bit. All right, I got you. Not necessarily setting it on the side. Mid fade on the side. That's gonna be dope. Yeah. Let me get a thumbnail first, man. <laughs> Yo, this. Yo, this is beyond me. I don't know where to start. Bro, yeah, me neither. Yeah, it's the way. It's the way. It's the way. You don't want to say anything. Make sure you subscribe. Oh, there it goes. Oh, bro, that felt relieved. Jesus! <laughs> oh my gosh. Yo. It's coming off. Dang. This is Alright, YouTube, let's get right into this transformation tutorial. So, y'all see me using my shears, just cutting all the bulk down, getting all the real nappy part off so we can uh, use the clipper um, with no guard and just freehand it and try to create some shape before we use that number five guard like he wants it on top uh this video is old it's been in the chamber for a minute I, i've been holding out and putting it out for y'all um y'all gonna see i use my old fading system the old way i do things i use my old um gold clippers like the hitters that i really had but they were super loud but you know what i'm saying i just got, I gotta put it out for y'all because i've been sleeping on this video low key um, the cut stay, it still came out fire, man, but I'm going to just show you how I used to do, how I used to cut. And uh, this is how I would teach beginners how to cut. The steps are easier and it don't take as long. So this one is really for my beginners that want to know how to do transformations. So right now I'm just freehanding it, trying to get the hair down to the point where I can put on that five guard like he suggested. Suggested and... Um, yeah, once we get it down, we're going to throw on that five guard and just go against the green on the top and get it as even as possible. Alright you guys, so now it's time to get into the fading process. I'm using these clippers that one of my clients gave me. Uh, he said he ordered them off somewhere and, and he just don't need them no more. He got a ball head actually, so appreciate you for that. I'm just setting my ball guidelines starting from the bottom of the vertical bar and dropping it towards the back of the head. Just contouring that ball guideline to my client's head shape. Um, now I'm just removing the bulk from the bottom part. Um, these are also my older clippers. I don't really use them no more. Uh, <laughs> like I said, I got a whole new setup. Everything is different. So um, just getting that bulk down, bulk off actually. Just getting it um, as bald as possible and as clean as possible. guideline we going with the lever open about an inch wide okay i want this um fade to be stretched out because his hair is thicker 
So if you use really compressed or smaller guidelines, it will not look as good. Um, that's just in my eyes. Some some people cut with small guidelines. I don't. I can't do it on this type of hair. Now I got the one guy open. We're going up about another inch. Um, like I said before, I'm making these guidelines a lot wider than usual, um, just to get that real stretch stretched out blend. Now using my two guard open, I'm not digging. I'm not digging into the head. I'm kind of just um, rolling it off the top, creating some shape to go along with the hair. Now I'm going to pick out the sides of the hair that's sticking out, and now I'm going to freehand trim anything that hangs over from the side that makes it look um, disconnected. This step I don't use anymore because um, I usually debulk before now, but I'm going to comb down the separation line basically from the two guard open um, section and the hair. We're just going to comb down that line and use the one guard open and go down only on that line of separation. You're just going to connect the fade to the actual hair on top um, and give it a smoother blend. Now we're going back in with that one guard open. Uh, we're just going to flick out that top guideline or whatever bulk is up there, and um, and try to just connect, try to connect that blend with the hair on top. close um i got the wall zero guard closed so you can't don't close it all the way like you can but you got to be careful i only use my corners with this guy anyway because it allows me to get more surgical because of how close it cuts so um you just want to use your corners um be careful not to raise the fade with this guard on because like i said it is smaller it cuts closer so you just want to be real surgical with it use your corners take your time don't rush this cut okay and um adjust your lever as you need to if you need to go up you open that lever you open that lever a little bit if you need to come down just close it all right so just do what you can to get that fade as clean as possible and to remove that middle guideline to take out the ball guideline um the best way i can describe this the easiest way to do it for my beginners just use your lever close and go up until that bottom line is gone once that bottom line is gone and the and the guideline is like in the middle of that lever open section then you want to put the the lever in the middle like the third notch it's six notches you put it in the third notch and uh, it should knock out that bottom half. After you do that, you just do more detail work. And um, yeah, make sure you just want to make sure there's no line at the bottom. So you're gonna use that lever close, go up a little bit. Um, once that once that guideline's up into the middle part, then you want to adjust the lever to the halfway point and uh, do detail work from there. harsh ball line so you just want to take your trimmers and just go and clean that up now we're doing some detail work just cleaning up the whole fade okay do what you can use your corner slap on different guards try to take that fade to a different level okay the more detail work you put in the better barber you will be i promise you that
Now it's time for the lineup part. I'm gonna comb down his edges. Um, y'all can see his widow speak is it's out there, okay? <laughs> um, my client knows this. I cut his hair multiple times. Uh, he knows that I always cut that widow speak off. Um, so some people, some of, some of my haters might be in the comments like, no, nah, no, nah, you push his whole edge back. Listen, okay, we, me and my client already had this conversation. We already got a uh, understanding of how I do it. So right now I got the hairspray. I spray on one coat without blow drying it. Then I spray on another coat, blow dry it, and um, let it sit for a second. And then I go in with my hitters and just get that line up as clean as possible like i said i am cutting that widow speak off you can clearly see it because it's darker than the rest of the hair so y'all gonna see me cut it off right here and then you're gonna see me line up the rest and you can tell if it's a pushback if you see white wall what that is is um you basically can see the stubble of where the hairline was so the rest of the haircut, the rest of the hairline, you're not going to see any of that because the rest of it was not a pushback. But because I had to cut off that widow's peak, that's the only place you're going to see it. So for all my haters that be in the, the comment section, <laughs> I just got to explain to y'all, this is not a pushback, okay? This is more of a hairline resurrection, <laughs> if you will. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I miss these trimmers, man. If they wasn't so loud, I would keep them forever. But these joints was my hitters. I got some hitters now, but these joints right here was hitters, man. They hit on every, anybody. I never adjusted them after I got them to hit so much. I don't know how. Y'all know. Y'all barbers know what I mean. Once you get that tool and you lose it, it's a crazy feeling, man. It's a crazy feeling. some enhancements okay I, I do this different now too usually I would brush the hair back um, against the grain and then spray the enhancement under so it, a layer would be on the skin and then you would brush the hair back over it would basically be like a coat of protectant like using the hair as like a window basically um, but in this video it's a little bit older I didn't know that technique yet so I'm just spraying the enhancements um, Trying to make it look natural as possible. Now I'm using my Barber Magic Pencil. You only want to use the white pencil on your light, your lighter clients. Um, Cause if you use it on the darker ones, it's not gonna look right. It's gonna look like kind of fakeish. Uh, you don't want it to look like that. So, and the tan line would show up like a yellowish, uh, a yellowish. You know, y'all know what I'm saying. It it'll, it'll show up yellow. So just use the white one on your lighter clients if you want to use the um, fiber magic pencil. And make sure you get that line as spread out as possible and then clean it up with the razor. Okay, so I'm on the razor part now, um, but I honestly think because of the way the line looks, I think I did use the razor one time already, and then I just dusted them off, like right there, and then I'm going in again. So, when you do on the razor, you always want to go in multiple times just to get that line up as clean as possible. Don't just use the razor one time, and then you're good. It's not. It's, it's always, gonna, it's always a, a way you can get it cleaner, so just make sure you... Use the razor, dust it off, use the razor, dust it off, and do that um, just to get it as clean as possible and to make that line last a lot longer. 
Now we're going to um, style the top. I'm using this uh, product called Nappy Paste. I don't have any more. <laughs> I got to get some more, but just put it in this here. The same motion I was using um, the sponge. And uh, after you put it in, you want to sponge it here. And there you go. Alright y'all, y'all seen the beginning man, y'all see he needed a transformation, he wanted to cut it all off, but keep that little curly look on top with the mid fade, let me know what y'all think about it, like, comment, subscribe, if you like the video, let me know what you think in the comments, and here's the cut, it's your boy Ruby Kid Cat, man, follow me and my beat maker. Um, on Instagram at WavyKCav and at Four Flagging. Okay, Just get get my boy some subscribers. All right. Um, yeah, let me know what y'all think about it in the comment section, and uh, let me know what other type of videos y'all want to see. All right, Shabab so, WavyKCav, I'm out. Deuces. Man, anything you want to say? Bro, I feel <laughs> like a new man. It's breathing, bro. My scalp is breathing. <laughs> I'm gonna take a shot. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all see the fresh fade, man. I repeat to the to the carpet, man. No, that's a fact. Oh RIP, my man. Lord. If y'all want a rug, hit Kev up. He's got it. Stop. <laughs> all right, y'all. We out. Jeez.